Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tring Shoe Repair and Key Shop channel. As always, I'm Dan. Today's video is a rescue job on these riding boots. Now these are Treadstep Donatello's and they are absolutely knackered. I'm gonna do my best to save them. Keep watching, see how. Okay, so let's talk about the job. As I say, these are Treadstep Donatello's. Um, quite expensive boots, really nice boots with a rubber sole rather than a leather sole. Now, the heel is completely missing. The sole is thin and peeling away. Um, on this one, we've got a big hole there that needs patching up. Right, but before we get on with the job, um, I'm gonna give them a clean because these things are muddier than a muddy thing from Mudtown, so I'm not going to work on them like that, so I'm just going to head over to the sink and give them a scrub. Okay, so cleany cleany, we're here in the kitchen. Sorry, it's a bit dark, the lighting, but um, I'm going to clean them up properly, but they're covered in mud, and sometimes when a job comes in like this, I'll turn it away because the customer needs to clean it when it's covered in crap, you know? But uh, I wanted to do this video anyway, so I don't mind cleaning it for the gent. Uh, I don't know what he's done to get him in a state like this, but we're just getting the worst of the mud off with some warm soapy water and a new sponge. Uh, and then we're going to use some proper cleaner afterwards and oil the leather, give it a polish. But we're just using the water because they really are caked in mud. So we need to get the worst off first. I don't know what this chap's been doing. They're absolutely covered in crap. What's made of leather? and sneezes. Ashu, get it? Okay, so now we've got the worst of the mud off, uh, which is using an all-purpose leather cleaner, which is this Barma Clean and Care. Now this is really just sort of your, um, once you've got the worst off cleaner, but before we do the finishing touches kind of job. So it comes up as a foam. So I'm just gonna liberally put it all over here. Again, use a clean sponge and just work at it and all those last bits of mud off and any bits of dirt that have just soaked into the grain of the leather. Okay, so now that's all dry, we're at the point where we can start repairing the boot. But I'm going to do things a little bit backwards today, and I'm just going to do the finishing touches on the upper, uh, just because we're on a roll, and then I feel I feel like doing it now. All right. Um, so first thing we want to do is condition the leather. So I've just got this Dasco leather cream. Uh, we want to condition it so that we put any uh, oils and nutrients back into the leather to keep it soft, supple, and increase the longevity of the boot before we put the uh, hard waxes of the polish on top. So we're just going to grab a cotton rag, get our cream on there and liberally put it everywhere. And really rub it into all the cracks so our cream will soak in and keep everything nice and supple. Okay, so we let that soak in and dry, and once it's completely dry, we can work on putting the polish on and renovating the color. All right, now that that's dry, we're going to renovate the leather and put the black pigment back in it with a renovating polish. Now, before we do that, I'm just gonna show you that we've got elastic laces there uh, that are all split, so they're gonna get in the way of us polishing and renovating that part, so I'm just gonna take some scissors, cut through these old, Elastics. We're going to replace them, obviously. Get them out. There he is. Okay, now the renovating polish we're using today is just cherry blossom. 
black renovator. Now the trick with this is that there is a dye in it. So what we do is we put a layer on, let it soak in for about five minutes. So it actually dyes all of the faded areas, let it, um, you know, percolate, do its thing, and then shine it off afterwards. So I'm just gonna use our brush. Start at the top. I mean, you can't really overdo this. You can be as liberal as you like because of course we're taking all of the excess off afterwards. The only trick is to make sure you really rub it in to any of those faded areas because those are the ones that we're really, those are the bits we really want to target to put the colour back into it. So that's everything coated. We're gonna let it develop for five minutes. Uh, it's probably a perfect time to make a cup of coffee. Okay, that's five minutes. So we can go back and shine off the boot. So what I'm doing for our shining is just getting my hand inside the boot so it's nice and sturdy. And just doing Fast strikes back and forth. And there we go, that'll do. That looks a damn sight better already. So I just got to do the other one. And then we can move on to the repair. Okay, so when it comes to doing the repair, we just need to have a goosey gander and look around the boot and figure out exactly how we're gonna approach it and what to do first. Uh, so the main issue here is we've got this big hole here flaking away that needs patching up. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is remove the whole sole and then look at doing the patch, do the patch before we put the new sole on. So I'm gonna head over to the machine and work at taking the old sole off down to its bare bones. Alright, so here's our boot down to its bare bones. Now what we just need to do, and I think I'll show you on the other one, and that is that some of the upper here that curls under and sticks to the footbed has come away from the footbed. I don't know how well you can see that. So all we need to do is just run a bit of glue underneath there so we can stick it all back in place so the boot keeps its shape. So we've got our glue on our brush and we're just getting underneath the upper that's loose and on the footbed, plenty of glue. And then we'll let that dry for a minute and once it's dry we can press it together. Right and uh, now our glue is dry it's nice and tacky what I've done is put the boot on our metal last so the boot's going to stay in shape as we tuck all of the upper and footbed back in together. So I'm just going to gently press it down into where it would go and it's going to restore its shape. Okay, now once it's in place, I'm just going to give it a very slow, delicate tap with a hammer, just to flatten it down. Okay, right now there's a couple of bits of the rand that are loose here, so I've put a bit of glue on that as well, tuck that in. Now the bits that are missing, what I'm going to do is replace them by making new little bits of leather out of uh, some leather laces. Now it's starting to look a little neater. We still need to address this patch here. But um, first what I want to do is, uh, as the footbed is just a little cracked, the shoe didn't originally have a cork layer. But what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of cork filler just to plug up a few of these gaps, just so that when the custom comes to wear it again, it feels that much more level and comfortable. It's really not gonna do any harm. So now our sole's all prepared, down to the bare bones. We've got our filler in so it's nice and flat, ready to get a new sole on. But first we need to go back to this one 
and remember we need to solve this patch issue. So what I'm gonna do with a patch is um, think about how we're gonna do it. And if you can see there, it should be stitched together there. That wants to be stitched on itself, but we need something to fill this hole. So I'm taking a piece of patching material. What I'm doing is lining it up in such a way, so I'll just do it as I'm talking. I'm gonna line it up right the way up into where the, the rip starts. And we're gonna glue this piece of leather to the inside of the upper. And then once the glue's dry, we'll stitch it across and then fold it onto the footbed, glue that in. So then when the sole goes on, it's all patched up and held together. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut it to size. Okay, so now I've made our little patch. I'm just gonna apply glue to one side, the side that's going to go into the upper, and of course, put some glue on the upper as well. let that dry just for five minutes before putting it together and that's our glue dry it's nice and tacky if it dries too much we can heat it up to activate it again but for now that's just fine so what i'm going to do is just slide it into place nice and flush with where i want it make sure it's in deep enough and then press it to the upper there we go nice firm connection press it down nice and flat Right, now that's in place, I'm just going to head over to the patcher and run a line of stitching across it just so it's nice and strong. Now once we've stitched the patch into place, we're going to finish up by gluing the underside of the patch and the footbed, let it dry, pull it across and glue it into place. Once I've glued it into place, I'm gonna pop it on the last and give it a hammer just so everything sits nice and flat. nice and dry I've actually just heated this up a bit because I want it to really connect so grab the edge of our patch let me show you this way and just fold everything tight and roll it across to the footbed Okay, so onto the fun bit, putting the soles on. Now, if you remember, we had a full rubber sole on the boot before and the heel blocks are missing. So what I've gone for, we're replacing them with these Vibram Moonlight units and they're quite convenient because they've got a built-in heel block. So it's two birds with one stone. So let's get started. So to start fixing our sole to our shoe, we need to get some glue on. So what I've done with this sole is just run the side we're gluing over the rough band on the machine to give it a rough surface. And this just lets the glue bond to the material better. It gets into all the cracks on a microscopic level. Now, I'm just gonna take our contact adhesive, our brush, and put it all over the unit. When you have a sole like this, it's all one full long piece of a built-in heel. It's called a unit, a rubber unit. Oh wow getting it all over the place. And then what we're gonna do is let the glue dry. And the way this contact adhesive works is you let it dry, and once it's dry, you then heat it back up in our heat lamp, and that activates the glue again, ready for sticking on. So there's one. Get it 
it all over the place. Now, as we're not stitching, as it's a rubber sole, same with a lot of rubber soles and units, we're only gluing. I want to make sure I get plenty of glue on there. So the job really bonds well and is a strong finish. And then the same thing with our finished sole. Now what I'll just point out to you is remember the patch we did? It's now part of the shoe. So I've put glue all across that as well and the sole's just gonna stick to the whole lot. So as I say, we've gotta wait for the glue to dry and then stick everything together. So the way we do that is I'm gonna take the units, put them in the heat lamp, activate the glue, and then stick it together. And the way we'll do that is I'll put the boot on the last, gently roll the new unit onto the boot, and then put it under the pneumatic press just to really squeeze everything together, make sure all the parts are touching, and really uh, force the glue to connect. So there's the soles on, but you can probably tell they're a little bit too big. So what we need to do is just cut off the excess before we give it the finishing touches on the machine. So just give them a knife a sharpen. Take my knife, we're gonna cut around the edges. So now the worst is off, we just head over to the machine again, use the rough sanding band to take off all the edges so it's uh, down to a flat finish with the original shape of the boot, and then we can work on the finishing touches. Okay, cool. So you will have just seen me doing the finishing touches with painting the edges and giving it a spray with some gloss. So the repair's done, but we can't forget about the elastic laces that we took out in the beginning. So we've got a new pack of elastic laces and we're just gonna pop them in. So the way we do this is we take our lace, pop it through the first eyelet, and then because we're not tying them together, it's elastic, what we're doing is just tying it off at the bottom in a big enough knot so that it won't come through the eyelet. And then we're just gonna thread it through the same as a ladder lace. <laughs> and then once we've made it all the way to the top, I'm going to tie off this last lace in a knot from the inside. Okay, people, we are done finished with our new rubber units on these Donatello riding boots. So uh, they're not perfect, but I'm very happy with how they've come out and I'm pretty confident the customer's gonna be happy. Can I show you a close up? That is the patch that we've done. Uh, that's relatively well disguised. So yeah, happy. So uh, thanks for watching the video. If you made it all the way to the end, hit like, it helps other people see this stuff. 
Um, as for sending me your stuff, if you've got any boots or shoes that you want repaired or think will make a cool video, contact me on the Train Shoe Repair and Facebook page and I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, I'm doing new videos weekly. And uh, again, I'll just finish by saying thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.